Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 21st to the 31st, 2019 reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up, and you help my channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. So I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing and I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what March 21st to the 31st, 2019 has in store for you. Taurus, March 21st to the 31st, 2019. Taurus, March 21st to the 31st, 2019, Taurus. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. March 21st to the 31st, 2019, Taurus. March 21st, oh goodness. There we go. March 21st to the 31st, 2019, Taurus. March 21st to the 31st, okay. We're going to stop there because this is where Spirit had the cards jump out. So we're going to see what these 11 days have in store for you, Taurus. I love it. The Ten of Pentacles. What, what do you consider prosperity, Taurus? Because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. So what do you consider prosperity? This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of knowing your mind, knowing where it is that you stand. I love that you have the Empress here, standing tall, standing proud. After being cast down, after going through struggles and troubles and feeling as if those would never end, this is a change. The Seven of Wands, feeling as if you have to defend yourself, your prosperity, your family, you know, really fighting for that a strong air sign energy in your reading, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. But this is also you taking that gift of knowing your mind, of knowing what it is that you desire. Now, this air sign could be somewhere in your chart. This could also be someone that you really trust, okay, who's helping you take that gift, who's helping you achieve clarity of mind. For some of you, that's definitely going to be it. And then you have yourself getting a gift of the Ace of Pentacles. Now you're an earth sign. You're represented by the Pentacles in the Minor Arcana. This is God's source spirit. However, you see the divine, the universe, handing you this gift of prosperity to move you forward. A strong Cancer energy is shining through, but also you're reigning in your emotions. You're moving towards what it is that you desire. There we go. I knew you were going to shine through. You're taking that gift. I love that you're taking these gifts. You have a strong King energy to you this month. Patience. I know that's not what you want to hear. Nobody ever wants to hear that the cards are telling them, oh, just have patience. You know, you've been waiting long enough, and I do understand that. Seven is also reason and understanding. So there's something that you're learning. There's something that you are looking at. You have seven here repeated with the, with the chariot, too. So there's something that you're looking at. There's something that you're understanding that is going to help move you forward. Okay, reasoning is going to be your friend for these 11 days. Also a repeat of the number one with the aces. So that's taking care of yourself. That's new starts, new beginnings. Okay, and that's really embracing them. We have the 10 of pentacles starting right off the bat. And I love this. This makes me see family around you, friends, people that you love, people that you trust around you. This is also prosperity and this is you having prosperity. This is saying be wise with it. Be wise because she's only put one or there's only one pentacle on the table. You see that right there. And so there's, you're being told, you know, to embrace wealth, but also to be wise about it. To be wise with what you share, how much, how much you share. These are people that you absolutely adore. The Ten of Pentacles is celebration. The Ten of Pentacles is family, is friends, you know, a community. The community is helping you move forward. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, being part of town hall or anything like that. It can be, it can be the people who know you the best. And those are the people where you're going to find your strength from. There's something here. Oh, and look at what you think of prosperity. 
look of what you think when you think of prosperity in your mind's eye do you see cascades of you know money falling down do you see you know security being able to pay all your bills do you what is it that you see it's going to be different for each and every one of you so what this card is telling me to tell you is to keep that mind keep your mind's eye focused on your idea of prosperity your idea of wealth your idea of security and abundance because that's going to start coming into your life because you're being given gifts of knowing your mind so being able to have a powerful mind powerful you know imagery around you and then a gift of prosperity leading you closer and closer to the next chapter of your existence now for some of you it's to that next chapter it's starting that next phase but for others of you it's getting closer to walking through that gate to embrace where it is that you want to be you feel as if you have to defend yourself okay emotions are running high and emotions have been running high for a really long time okay with a repeat of the number seven and the chariot here having to rein those emotions in i would say at least for a lot of you seven years i mean it could be seven days seven weeks seven months too but this is very much saying to me that you are you know you're tired of having to defend yourself especially when it comes to defending what it is that is dearest to you you always feel as if you're fighting for it as if you know you just have to hold on a little bit longer here this is not saying to be a doormat. When I say stop fighting, it does not mean to be a doormat at all. It means to step back and say, you know what? I have to start moving forward in my truth. And if I'm wasting all my time getting everyone who doesn't matter to try and understand and see where it is that I'm heading and what it is that I want, you're going to take valuable energy from your success and your prosperity and give it to people who don't matter. With this card, I keep on hearing the Dr. Seuss, what is it? Those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. That's what I'm seeing with the seven of wands. And by you defending yourself, emotions are going to be running really high. Your emotions, their emotions, it's only going to keep causing more drama by coming at things as a place of, well, you have to understand what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they understand or if they don't understand. You are moving forward in your truth. You are moving forward in your prosperity. And those who want to see you fall, they're going to be highly disappointed. Because God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift of knowing your mind. And I love how you have, you know, five crowns here in this reading. This is a time of majesty. This is a time of using your intellect to move you forward. This is a time of knowing. March 21st to the 31st is a time of knowledge for you, of understanding. Things are being made clear. God's source spirit is whispering in your ear, saying, understand, embrace the blessings that I'm giving to you. And you are. The universe is whispering to you. Hear them. Okay, Taurus, hear what that's being, what's being told to you. Because you have thoughts and memories crowning your head. You're taking this gift. Not as a page, not as somebody who still has to study, not as a knight, somebody who has to defend yourself, but as a king. As a king. As a person who knows your place. Who knows where it is that you stand. And you're taking this information as a king for both the knowledge that's being given to you and the prosperity that's leading you forward. Now what you do with this knowledge has to do with healing. Okay? It has to do with rising yourself, raising yourself up. But here, you have an air sign energy around you, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius, who's helping you know what it is that you want. This isn't the person you have to defend yourself from. Okay, even though this person is right next to the seven of wands, because you're being given a gift of knowledge and then you have them show right up afterwards, this is a person who's going to help you help lead you forward, who is either somebody you rely on or this is an energy that you're relying on. If you sit there and say, I don't know any air signs, Dane, you know, it doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be somewhere within their chart that they have an air sign, but this is also a very logical person, a person who's looking at things and saying, you know what, in my mind, I can see it. 
But this is also the energy that you're embracing during, during these 11 days. You can see it. You can see how it is that you want to move forward. You can see, you know, the moves that you need to make. You're also protecting your mind. So the person who is around you, who's helping you take this gift, is going to be someone who you don't always understand. You can't always understand where they're coming from. Okay, air sign energies, earth sign energies. One can get caught up in their emotions and one can be a little bit too grounded at times. You know, so that means that with an air sign and with an earth sign, you don't always see eye to eye. But you guys always come back together. You always come to this point of comprehension. You have this cancer energy, love, that's moving you forward. Now, for some of you, this is a business partnership. For others of you, this is a romantic partnership. For a lot of you, this is that balance between knowing your mind and knowing your prosperity. Okay, cutting through doubts and fears. Embracing what it is that you want. This person here, there's a strong, there's a strong masculine presence. And I, I saying, I'm saying this while looking at the Empress and saying, well, there's a strong female presence here too. But that's that healing that's coming to you. That's what's building you up. So there is somebody you're going to talk to that you're going to have a conversation with. It's going to have to do with your prosperity. And it can be, you know, a little tiny conversation that you have in passing that you wouldn't think would amount to anything. But it takes you from having to defend your prosperity to embracing your not mind and your knowledge and helping you move forward to where it is that you want to be. The Empress represents all four of the Queen cards. The Queen of Cups, knowing what it is that you love. The Queen of Swords, knowing your mind, setting yourself free. The Queen of Cups is also healing. The Queen of Pentacles, your prosperity, embraced by love. The Queen of Wands, passionate and new beginnings. That's what you're embracing here. You're also sitting there on your throne, moving forward, because Rhiannon is the goddess of horses in Welsh mythology. You're moving forward towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you desire. Nothing is holding you back anymore, and nothing can keep you from your goals. Okay? Yes. There are going to be times where you meet with opposition. Rely on your knowledge. Rely on your business savvy, suave, to move you forward. You have a keen mind. And you have passion for what it is that you're doing. Use it to guide you forward. Because here, after a time of being cast down, after a time of having everything seem, it seems like everything has just gone wrong. Time and time and time again. And you were cast down. You were cast out. And I know you're probably, if you're new to this channel, you're thinking, how do you get this from the Empress? The Empress is fertility and abundance and healing and beauty. Well, Rhiannon's story was that she was a fairy princess. And she married an earthly king. And together they ruled really well. But they had a hard time conceiving a child. And finally they had a child. And that child was stolen away by this monster who liked to steal baby horses, colts. So she was the goddess of horses. That's why her child kind of called to this monster. And this monster came in and stole her baby away. All the nursemaids were around her, the midwives, and they were in shock. And they said, better one, better her, better Rhiannon get, get punished for what she has done, for the monster coming and stealing the baby, than all the nursemaids die for letting the baby be stolen. So they sacrificed her. She was an other anyway. She was an outsider. She was a fae. You know, they couldn't trust her. And they were saving themselves. So they smeared her with blood because she had just given birth. And they said she ate her baby. You know, you can't trust these people. So she was cast down. The king loved her too much to kill her, which you could see as a blessing or as not. And she was told that she had to live in front of the palace uh, in rags as a, as a beggar and tell anybody who passed the horror of what she did and give them a ride on her back because she was, after all, the goddess of horses. And so she did that for years. Her child winds up being raised in a neighboring kingdom and he looks so much like the father that the neighboring king says, oh my gosh, you know, you're the long lost son of Rhiannon's husband, sends him to the court, she's restored to her rightful place on the throne. But it's not before she experiences such degradation, such humiliation, 
that she had never expected before. Now, what I always wonder about is why she just didn't leave. Why didn't she go back to the fairy court? But that wasn't her place, I guess. She withstood the humiliation. She withstood the hardships to rise up again to her rightful place, which was as a queen. And because you have two kings here, and you have such a queenly presence, you have an empress presence of saying, now I am rising up, I am defending myself, I am moving forward. You are embracing prosperity. Prosperity is guiding you because you're not the type of person, Taurus, to back down. You're not the type of person to sit there and say, I give up, I can't do this anymore, I'm done fighting. No, actually, you are the type of person who is like, no, it's getting hard, I will fight harder. You don't have to fight harder. Blessings are coming, know your mind, embrace your strength. Your strength is your staying power. And I'm not telling you to stay in a situation that is abusive for you. I'm not telling you to stay in a place that is bad for you. I am saying here that you are moving forward towards the prosperity that you want because you have never lost faith in yourself and in the gifts that the divine is giving you. You're using them wisely. You're knowing your mind and you are moving forward. If not passing through this gate, because again, this is a general reading, it's going to be different for each and every one of you, then, a, then getting closer to where it is that you need to be. I have great movement here with the horse represented in the Empress card, and then the horses made out of water in the chariot card. This is the god of the sea in Welsh mythology, whose name <laughs> I cannot remember how to pronounce. You are reigning in your emotions. You are reigning in what it is that you want. And you are saying, now it is my time. Instead of fighting, you are mastering and moving forward. You are mastering your emotions and saying, now it is time to get to where it is that I need to be. And as you do that, you become the king that you are. And it doesn't matter, male, female, however you define yourself within your gender, you are embracing this, of course I can, mentality. This prosperity, this abundance, this wisdom blessing you. And for that, you need to have patience with yourself because you have built something strong. You have built something beautiful and it's coming. Keep sitting on your throne. Keep saying, I belong here. I belong in this place of prosperity. I belong in this place of success. Even if you have been cast down. Even though it has been a long and arduous battle. You belong with success and it is coming. Keep your emotions reined in. Okay, because if you let them kind of fall out, if you let them go, go like waves, you'll go, you'll get pulled in a different direction. You go every which way. That's why the chariot. There's also a cancer energy here who is helping you move forward, who's helping you see what it is that you want. Okay? Now, for some of you, you might be overcoming an air sign and a cancer. But for most of you, this air sign and this cancer energy is helping you achieve your goals. because you're being handed a gift of knowing your mind and you are taking it. As you take it, you think that you have to fight, but instead of fighting, you look at where it is that you stand and say, I've withstood so much. This is not going to bring me down. These people not understanding me is not going to stop me. Okay. You have your prosperity here. You know your wealth, you know your worth, you know what it is that you desire. And as you know this, God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, starts handing you more gifts, starts handing you a greater gift that says, now that you have chosen what it is that is truly important to you, because you haven't run away, Taurus, because you haven't said, wow, it got hard, and now I'm not doing this anymore. You have reined in your emotions, you have stayed patient, you have stayed wise, and you've seen that your prosperity is coming. Because of that, you're moving closer and closer to your goals, closer and closer to the next chapter. You're not doing this alone. There are people around you who are going to help you. There, these are divine gifts that are being whispered to you, handed to you in a subtle, gentle way. Have your eyes open for them. 
have your eyes open for the way that you are moving forward because you are taking these gifts and you are embracing the empress that you are, the community, the prosperity that you desire, a king of the sea, a king of your emotions, to move forward to the place that you need to be. Yes, emotions are going to be running high during these 11 days, but prosperity and knowledge is going to be even higher. It isn't a time to sit there and act and to say, okay, you know, I know exactly what it is I need to do and I'm going to go for it. Nothing's going to stop me. All right. Because here we have wisdom that is used to heighten yourself. And this is saying here, do not do anything rash. Patience. Because your patience, your ability to see the long, the long haul, the long story, that's what's going to help you here. This isn't about fighting. This is about taking the gifts that are being offered to you during these 11 days. There's going to be a turning point that happens on the 7th. There's going to be something that happens, and by 7th, I mean the 27th. There's going to be, or the 7th day in, right, which is the same thing, but there's going to be a time where you sit there and you look at things and you have your emotions reined in, there's going to be something that happens that makes you want to act rashly and you say no. Insights are coming to yourself, to those around you, but you're taking them. It's not to those around you, it's to you. It's to do with the people that you have sacrificed a lot for, that you care for, that you you know, have cherished and nourished and, and where it is that you want to be. If you're saying, Dean, I don't have, you know, a family around me that you know I'm giving to then it is the family that you want the place that you want to be what it is that you're building towards that is why you have gone through what you've gone through it's being seen and it's appreciated take these gifts because the divine is handing you gifts that are going to move you forward in a way that you hadn't expected the subconscious message here is the devil card now this represents a strong Capricorn presence now for some of you this could have been a person who, who messed up everything, okay? Who you were chained to for a really long time. Somebody who was manipulative and angry. And now those chains are broken. They just shatter away. It doesn't have to be that that person's a Capricorn, but it can, but that person very well can be. But it is a person who cares more about this earthly plane than they ever did you. Subconsciously, you have been tied to this person. And now, because of divine intervention, because of divine wisdom, you're being set free from this negativity. Your subconscious knows it. And that's why this change is coming. That's why, that's what's going to happen within that count of seven to move you forward. Have patience. Because now it is your time to embrace the prosperity that you want to move forward. This is a healing that's happening. This is a, a centering of soul and self to guide you, to get you to where it is that you want to be, where it is that you need to be. Embrace it. Embrace it because you're being set free. You're being set free over these chains that kept you stuck. The light is coming through the darkness and the angels are fiercely guarding you. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are amazing. I'll be reading for you all really soon. Bye.